In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new catalogue in Capture One and import some photos into it and have a brief look at organising them. I'll start out with importing some photos that are already on my computer. Then I will import from a memory card to my hard drive and directly into Capture One in one action. Let's start by creating a new catalogue. If you already have a catalogue open in Capture One, that's fine, as we can easily make additional catalogues from the file menu here. I'll make a catalogue in my Pictures folder and call it My Catalogue. This creates a Capture One catalogue file for this catalogue. We can see it here. First, let's find some photos on my computer. Click on Import here. For the next import you need to do, you'll find the Import icon here up on the toolbar. This also opens the importer. Choose where you would like to import your photos from. I'd like to import the photos in all these folders. Right now I can't see any photos until I check on Include Subfolders. By default no photos will be picked to be imported. If you'd like to pick all of them, tick this box. And don't worry, when we import in a moment from a memory card, I'll show you how to make a quick selection of some of the photos and use automated tools to group similar shots to speed up the import process. Unless you want to make copies of your photos somewhere else on your hard drive, make sure that Add to Catalog is shown. This will leave your photos where they are and simply add them to the catalog. To begin the process, hit Import All. As soon as this starts, you can begin to work on your photos. Don't feel that you need to wait for the import process to complete. The Library tab is where you manage your collections of photos. Your last 10 imports can be found within Recent Imports. Capture One also shows the physical location of the photos on your computer within folders. One benefit of a catalogue is the ability to organise your photos within user collections. Here you can create collections of photos with albums and smart albums and organise them within groups and projects. Let's take a look at this and create a new album. I'll call it Iceland. To make it a bit more organised, let's create a group. I'll call it Travels. And move the Iceland album inside that. Now we can take the photos from recent imports, select them all by pressing Command or Control A and move them into the Iceland album. Note that the same photo can be in multiple albums if needed, since albums are virtual and only exist inside Capture One. Now I have some photos on a memory card I would like to import into my catalogue. They are from an Icelandic wedding, and I might not want to import all of these. Also, many of the shots are likely to be similar, and I can use Capture One's Group Overview tool to display similar photos automatically, to help me choose the best one. Before we import, let's prepare an album within the Travels group for those photos. I'll right click on Iceland and choose New Album. I'll call this album Icelandic Wedding. Note that I've selected the empty album too. This way I can instruct the importer to automatically add the photos to this album during my import. Let's insert my memory card into my card reader. Capture One will automatically open the importer. If it doesn't, simply click the import icon on the toolbar and locate the memory card. Because the photos need to be physically copied from card to hard drive, I'll choose Copy to Folder and create a new folder on the hard drive. 
Let's put it in the Iceland folder and call it wedding. If I have photos on my memory card spanning a few days, I often like to organise them by date. I can do that automatically by choosing a token here. I'll filter to date based token so it's easier to locate the one I need. And use image date. I change the format to the one I prefer. Since I selected the Icelandic wedding album in my catalogue, I can add the photos directly to that album by choosing selected album in collection. Many of these photos are going to be similar and I don't want to import all of them into my catalogue. Checking enable groups will arrange the photos into similar groups. Similar photos are then grouped based on their content. The number of similar photos is indicated here for each group. Adjusting the similarity slider will adjust the groups to consist of more or less similar photos, resulting in smaller or larger groups. To see a more detailed view of each photo, activate the viewer. The viewer makes it possible to view the images in a reasonable size for making any decisions. I can zoom to 100% with a simple double click. Add a colour tag. or a star rating, or mark them for import. Groups are now presented on the right hand side. The number of photos in each group is shown here. With zero delay, I can use my left and right cursor key to advance or go back through each group. Using the up and down cursor key advances through individual photos within each group. To check any photo for importing, just tap the spacebar. The currently selected group always stays in the centre of the viewer, so it's easy to keep an eye on upcoming groups and previous groups. I'm happy with my selection, so we'll start the import process and click here. The photos are now being imported into my catalogue and added to the collection at the same time. I'll right click on one of the photos and choose Show in Library. Here you can see the photos have been automatically placed into folders based on their date of capture. Finally, if you want to access this functionality for photos already imported, you can enter the cold view here.